How's it going everybody? So today I am creating a bit of a different video. I want to have a discussion here. I want to talk about a bunch of different tweaks and changes and additions I think that could benefit Rust. I did a video like this over half a year ago. You guys seem to enjoy the ideas I had to bring to the table. Well, I want to have like a, an actual discussion down in the comments. We can talk about and agree on different ideas that we think would actually be good for us. And we can't demand because these are real people working at Face Punch making this game, this great game. Because they created a game I've been addicted to for the past five years now, half a freaking decade on this game. I just think that some honest feedback could be good for the developers to, you know, get some ideas from the community. Just a few, hey, you know what? I think this would be cool if this was changed or added. None of you better fucking add this. You fucking use the fucking development. You better fucking. Nah. None of that shit. And I'm mostly going to go over small little tweaks, things that I believe should be easy enough to change, you know, some numbers, but honestly, I'm not a developer, I don't have a fucking clue. I'm just not going to talk about the obvious stuff like, ooh, they should add cars, ooh, they should add an oil rig monument. So first off, I really like if they added a few more traps. They actually have some, uh, concept limbo. Ideas for traps, you know, having them uh, set up behind doorways so if someone busted it down or entered, it would smack him right in the fucking noggin. Some false floor traps, stuff like that would take more time to develop, but they said they wanted to make more traps and stuff like that, because people can start building bases designed with these traps, around these traps, instead of just having layers upon layers of honeycomb. Hey buddy, hey, you fucking ass. Ryan I'll crunch, I'm shooting a video here! Something quick that drives my gears is that there's obviously different tiers in this game. There's primitive, scrap, and then like metal tier whatever made out of high quality metal and then there's kind of like a fourth one where it's like the military tier that you can't craft and you gotta find those tiers are shown everywhere in armor there's wooden bone then there's coffee can road sign then there's metal face mask and metal chest plate primitive wooden bones janky rusty metal and then clean high quality metal the same goes for guns too you got the water pipe double barrel then the clean pump shotgun the custom smg to the mp5 but when it comes to tools, that shit just goes out the fucking window, doesn't it? Look, we got the primitive stone hatchet and stone pickaxe. Then we got the clean looking, high quality looking axe and pickaxe. Then, these rusty looking motherfuckers are king. What? This dull ass saw blade is king over the fucking looking factory new looking thing? This coat hanger looking motherfucker is better than this hefty ass Walmart looking pickaxe? Face punch, please, I can't take it. Fix it. And also while we're on this topic, high quality tier, they, they need their own kilt. They need some sort of leg, leg protection that's made out of high quality metal. It kind of goes with the rest of the, the stuff. Also, I'm not trying to demand this stuff. You do you, boo-boo. I'm just trying to throw some ideas out for you because I love you. Another quick idea is that there should be a special weapon attachment for shotguns. The pump and the spaz. The choke, it basically reduces the bullet spray when it comes out of the shotgun. Keeps the pellets tighter so it doesn't immediately spread buck wild and go fucking everywhere. I might be alone in this idea, but I honestly think that they should make the hoodie equal to the rest of the shirts that exist in the game. They originally talked about wanting to diversify the player, making people stand out and recognizable. Well, it's hard to do that when every single motherfucker and his dog is wearing the hoodie and the pants because they are statistically the best. Our characters would be able to stand out even further as we would have completely different t-shirt designs with their own set of skins instead of having the same basic hoodie all the damn time. Ah, blueberries and blackberries. These items have been in the game for the past, what, four years now at least? They originally wanted to make bushes where you can collect these berries from, but they've just been on the back burner ever since. Well, I'm no developer, I don't know how long it would take, but it'd be cool if we can get bigger bush models and have these, you know, grow on them. We could pick them. Maybe a certain biome won't have mushrooms, but they'll have blueberry bushes instead. Something that really drives me up the wall is how the garage door is so much superior over the regular sheet metal door. It's an easy blueprint to find, and all it costs is like an extra two gears for over twice the amount of protection. She went outdoor, four satchels. This baby can take on nine, and this fucking thing, I, I can't remember. It's like 12 or some shit, and let's test it out, boys. Like, holy ape shit, these things are almost as tough as a fucking armored door, even though it's cheap as a sheet metal door, pretty much. And I understand why they're as tough as they are, because you're supposed to hide cars behind them one day, you know, it's a garage door. It's meant for garages, so it's used to protect your cars. I get why it's got to be beefier than a sheet metal door, but we don't have cars yet, so why has it got to be so fucking beefy for no fucking reason? 
you know what, keep the defense property, whatever. But it's an electric garage door. You get where I'm getting at? It literally requires electricity to open up. You can hear the electricity running, the motors running. But yet, there's nothing hooked to it. If only we had an electricity system. But wait, we just fucking got that. We have an electricity system. So in order to use these cocksuckers, you should have to hook it up to a generator and uh, have a button. And I understand that you can already hook up doors to the electricity system, but this one requires the damn thing. You can't just, ooh, oh, well, look, I guess the power's out. Oh, no, what are we going to do? And maybe bring down the satchel count to eight. So it's a nice round number. It's basically double the amount of sheet metal doors, not double and a quarter. Also, if it's going to be pretty much just as tough as an armored door, maybe cost more. Throw in a couple high-quality metal payments on it. The swamps that they added last summer are pretty dang cool. I like the ideas that they are random miniature monuments type of things that could spawn in the world. Stuff that's prefabricated and already designed but can randomly spawn. But I think another miniature monument type of thing would be cool. Maybe uh, really small ponds. These small little ponds can spawn around the map. Just like how these frozen freaking lakes do. They're frozen. They're basically ponds, but they're frozen over. How about we get some unfrozen ones in the, uh, you know, the, the, the forest region? So when the day comes that they finish the fishing rod and fishing, we can fish out of those small ponds. Also, flares. Yeah, they're kind of cool and all. They can be useful. But man, why do they not work in water? They have their own ignition system, and divers use them all the time. So face punch, please, keep these puppies lit. Also, explosive tip arrows. Please face punch, let me see them. It could just be a tiny little explosion, just a tiny one, but it has enough to do a little bit of base damage. Potential rating. It's like arrow rating, but more expensive and actually reasonable. If they really wanted to, they have a lot in the game now to bring back food decay. They have the icons for spoiled human meat, wolf meat, chicken, they have a refrigerator, they have electricity, so you gotta hook up the refrigerator and it'll increase the lifespan of food by a long time. They want to be a true survival game? Yeah, they could do that. Sure. Add another reason to use the electricity system. Make it so you can't just have boxes of boxes of boxes of food that lasts forever. Lockers. Please, for the love of God, just let us click and drag items into the damn thing. Look, I got a full set there, but some cunt dragged out a coffee can. Now, in order to get that coffee can back in there, I had to swap, put all my shit in there, put this, and then swap back. Explosive tipped spears. Please make it happen. Explosive triple tip spears with the pitchfork, please make it happen. Also, why in the fuck is a bone, jagged bone knife, the best flesh gather tool when we have a butcher knife, a clean metal knife? They made it, modeled it, put it into the game, but it's only a Halloween item. Just add it to the real game. Make it a blueprint, cost some metal. Face punch, I like what you've done to the grenades, but I guess they're not exactly good enough because no one ever really uses them. I think I noticed the difference with the throwing thing, it always throws full speed no matter what, no matter how long you hold it, which is good, but the longer you hold it should cook the grenade. So if there's a guy running around that corner, I don't want to just throw this grenade and he has like fucking five seconds to run away from it. It'd be sweet if I could just cook the damn thing and then chuck it and it explodes right in his fucking face. Which also adds a risk to myself because it might explode in my own hands. Also, please remove the right click to drop at your feet or attach to a building. That got my buddy killed. Bro, I got grenades. Let me throw those fuckers over. <laughs> oh, fuck! No! <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> I just dropped straight at my feet. I didn't even throw no! it. Oh! He didn't understand what was happening. And they don't do building damage anyways. Face punch, I'm not exactly a fan of the high velocity rocket doing like one quarter of the amount of damage. I understand that's supposed to be more like an infantry rocket, but I feel like that's just a waste of its ability. Just having it so cheap that it does nothing to buildings, but it's only meant for players. I'd rather it do the same amount of damage, but it keeps its fast speed. So it can actually be a worthy rating tool that people are going to seek after. I want to shoot a regular rocket at the top of this wall. You'll see it's drop. Ooh, didn't even make it. That's a waste. But now for a high velocity rocket. Right in the four corners. That's a perfect shot. So if it did as much damage as a regular rocket, obviously this would be superior. But obviously make it cost more or cost more to research. I think having it be a dud, do literally like no explosive damage and only kill players, I think that's just lame. Now netting. 
No one really uses this except for role players like myself. I love using it for my events and stuff. But I understand why PvPers won't use it because it's very large and hard to build around. It wastes a lot of space. But I feel like you could turn this around. It could actually end up being useful. Well, for starters, please make the netting itself thicker so you don't bump your fucking head every time you go past a wall frame. And secondly, you could, if you really wanted to, make a metal netting version made out of, like, steel wire. So it has the same durability as a sheet metal door and can still get you up and down your base without being shot out so easily. Workbenches. So why can't we just upgrade the original workbench right where it is, exactly where it is, like walls, look at this. I can upgrade that to sheet metal. Why can't I just use the hammer and upgrade this bitch to the second tier, then the second tier to the fucking third tier. I can kind of get why because the third tier is bigger than the first tier, so that could have some collision errors. Well, just make the first tier bigger. As long as you have the resources on you, you can just upgrade the first tier to the second tier, the second tier to the third tier. I think that would be a lot smoother, a lot easier. Or at least give us an option to recycle our previous tier, because whacking it down with melee tools is not fun. It's just kind of annoying and it feels wasteful. I really think they should make prison walls and prison gates stronger. A sheet metal wall takes 4c4, but a prison gate or a wall... takes frickin' 1. Even though it's made out of the same shit, this is, look, it's all rusty and metal, it's the same shit. No, I don't think they should make it just as expensive as the walls. I don't think those bars should be 4c4, but at least two? I'd say two, not one. One obliterates the fucking thing. Because then the prison walls would be pretty much on par with a stone wall. And if you're gonna do that, you might as well make the mesh gates on par with the wood. Holy shit, one satchel damn near took that out. One single satchel, where a wood can take on two and a half. Chain link should be just as strong as a wooden wall. Why the hell does a tuna can lamp cost a tuna can? I get it, you know, it's a tuna can, it makes sense. Oh, we got the tuna can item in here. Why not make it cost that? You think, sure, it's easy enough to get a tuna can, but it actually makes it incredibly hard. You actually gotta go to a grocery store and find a tuna can. You gotta eat it, you gotta fucking bring the item home. Where if I'm in my base, it's pitch black and I wanna create some light, I can't fucking make a tuna can lamp wall lamp because I don't have empty ass tuna cans on hand. Just make it cost metal frags, for the love of fucking god. Pretty much everything in this game is scrappable, components, weapons, whatnot. But yet, these tuna cans and can of beans are not. They can only be burned in a fire. Why? Why can't you grind this up and just give me the metal? As a fresh spawn with some empty tuna cans, that'd be awesome. Kind of going along with the tier system I mentioned earlier, we got the wood spear and the stone spear. Both pretty much belong in the primitive category, but why can't we get like a jagged metal, like a jagged piece of a stop sign? Does the same damage as a stone spear, but causes a bleed effect, which I think should be brought back. Bleed was actually pretty damn bad back in the day. It, you would die so fast of bleeding, then they nerf the piss out of it and you don't even notice it anymore. Bring back bleeding and make it so the jagged spear does a bit of bleeding damage over the stone spear. You may have noticed, but I really love explosive ammo raiding this game. I think it's a really fun and unique way to raid versus the big bad boom booms. But there's some fucking untapped potential here, baby. Look at all these shotguns! They added the incendiary shells, which I love. They got slugs, which basically shoots out a mini cannonball. Pretty damn sweet. But they're lacking explosive rounds. Dude, if they had an explosive slug that could actually be used for raiding, that would be so sick. Like anyone's ever said before, yes, a triangle ladder hat would be awesome. I personally would love to see a lot more building pieces. They should bring back half block stairs for one, as we already have half blocks pretty much return. It's an item that used to exist, half blocks, half block stairs, but they removed it and then they basically brought it back with the half walls. So bring back half wall stairs. Please, I'm a role player, I need them. Large med kits, they're pretty cool, they'll take you up to 100 health, but it takes time and you receive any damage, you lose all of that healing over time. What they should do is make it so it has a 5 second timer on it in order to actually apply it so you actually want to go take cover but after the 5 seconds it will give you like 30 health or 20 health immediately and then have the rest of the 100 overtime healing. So people that actually want to use it they get a big boost of health immediately like the medical pens but it's a bigger version of the medical pens and it takes longer to use. Oh, the salvage hammer. Yeah, I guess it's a melee tool, a little bit of a farming tool, jack of all trades, but master of none. It's really garbage, no one ever uses it. There's always something better than it. We got plenty of melee tools, we got plenty of farming tools. Fuck it, why have this try to do both of those? Because it does neither. Why not just have it as a better build hammer? Make it so it does everything a build hammer can with the upgrading and repairing. 
But hey, maybe it repairs faster. The wooden hammer already repairs pretty fast because it's the only building tool there is. So they can nerf it down to like a quarter what it is and make it so the metal one is what repairs it pretty good. But as you can see, it, it doesn't do that right now. Metal hammer, better version of the wooden hammer. That's, that's what I say you should do with it. And heck, if you really wanted to, you can make it so the wooden hammer can only upgrade to the stone tier. So it can do wood and stone, where the metal hammer can upgrade up to the sheet metal and armored. <sighs> Ooh, yeah, you're actually adding another tier system to the game, but with building. I think that'd be pretty cool. And you gotta find the metal hammer through the blueprint system. Maybe it's a tier one, tier two blueprint. There you go, there you, that'll give you a hard on face punch, adding more blueprints for people to go out and grind for. If you haven't noticed in this video, I'm just trying to go for consistency, damn it. I want to see order. This game's chaos. There's a lot of shit that just doesn't make sense that are throwing around. You know, one thing's good, you know, it's all organized. Then all of a sudden there's a fucking oddball. It doesn't make any sense. Like the scrap tools being better than the clean, high metal tools. Like, why? But I guess that's going to be it for this video. I think I pissed the moan enough. I just, I, I just want to throw some ideas out there that I personally think could be beneficial for the game. And I feel like some of them can be fairly easy to tweak. Some of them obviously would cost more development time. I don't know. I'm not a developer. But I want to hear your guys' thoughts. Honestly, leave a comment down below. I want to see what you guys have in mind. What you think could be beneficial for us. Try not to go overboard with it. Like, oh, I think they should add space. We should be astronauts and bring our toxicity to the moon. And No. Some small things. Some little ideas you guys got. I want to read them. I want to see them down in the comments below. Thank you all so much for watching. Remember to have a fantastic day. And I will. And I'll see you guys all. Later.